And welcome to business. But before we can get into the real business stories, this is a story of a man that everyone in the country is talking about, Pastor Victor Kanyari, whose scheme to con churchgoers has generated overwhelming, uh, overwhelming rage from Kenyans. Kenyans, especially on social media, are now calling for the prosecution of the pastor while his wife, renowned gospel musician Betty Bio, distanced herself from anything ungodly. But legally speaking, can Pastor Kanyari be brought to book? Sharon Mumani tells us more. From the skillful enactment of fake worship, fake testimonies cooked behind the pulpit. To the damning exposure of a man stealing in the name of the Lord. Nobody has ever been coached because of the false testimony. The man, one quote-unquote prophet Victor Kanyari of Salvation Healing Ministries in Nairobi. <laughs> the episodes on Prayer Predators and Makria Injili by KTN's Inside Story and Jicho Pevu took the whole country by storm. What followed was an overwhelming expression of shock, disbelief and rage from the public. They just are there to enrich themselves, really. They are really, it is a business and it is shameful. Kiongozi mwenye anapatikana na historia kama hiyo. Wangu mimi naona na raumu wa Kenya. At Washe 26 tweeted, quote, such pastors who deceive people seeking God have a special place in hell reserved for them, end of quote. At I am Danny K tweeted, quote, that Pastor Kanyari should be held for extortion, end of quote. In a twist of events, Pastor Kanyari's wife, renowned gospel singer Betty Bayo, distanced herself from the expose. She wrote on her Facebook page, quote, anything that is unholy, anything that is ungodly, anything that contradicts my faith, Anything that mocks the God who got me from the wilderness and humble beginnings and raised me for his glory, I'd rather die than be part of it. End of quote. Our attempts to get in touch with her have to the time of airing this story borne no fruit. However, not everyone is against the implicated pastor, with one Grace Gishuru posting on the pastor's page, quote, they are talking and you are still being blessed. End of quote. But just what exactly are the legal implications of this expose? A big number of the members of the public are calling for Pastor Victor Kanyari's prosecution. This can apparently happen in two ways. Criminal uh, processes require a complaint. The persons who are aggrieved have to complain to the police station. And it is recorded by the police after which investigations are to be initiated. But without a complaint, the police can only investigate based on public interest and uh, merely to, to interrogate what actually was happening or whether the allegations are true. Whereas the straightforward way is said to be by the victims of the pastor's extortion filing a complaint, Law Society of Kenya Chair Eric Mutua points another way. And what they need to do is to come with that evidence uh, either to come to the law society we refined it and then we forwarded to the DPP's office because those are persons who should be charged with obtaining money by false pretenses those are people who should be charged with fraud those are people who should be charged with theft so the, the, the recording may be used but there is a certain threshold of evidence that it has to comply with whereby it has to be clear and also the one who took the clip has to personally produce um, a certificate to confirm that it is not actually a stage managed affair freedom of worship is one guarded by the kenyan constitution over time there have been growing concerns over the practice of corruption and unethical conduct in church the debate of checks and balances come into play. So the Registrar of Societies is obligated by the law to investigate, leave alone uh, the police, to investigate and interrogate the propriety and the actions of the church. Because 
the churches in as much as they are not regulated in a strict sense is need to curtail what they what actions they take so that uh, to protect worshippers and also to protect the sanctity of worship the media and the public alike have been under criticism for being too quick to forget such damning cases and now the fate of Pastor Victor Kanyari of the Salvation Healing Ministries is one the entire country await to see with bated breath. Sharma Mani, KTN.